old dog to be tough. Then you should get to know me. I'll teach you other stuff. I'm Madeline, I'm Madeline. I may be very small. I'm Madeline, I'm Madeline, but inside I'm tall. She may be teeny tiny, tippin' bits and teeth, but that has never In an old house in Paris that was covered with vines. Bonjour. <laughs> Live twelve little girls in two straight lines. They left the house at twelve o nine in two straight lines. In rain or shine. The smallest one was Madeline. Bravo! Oh, oh, Madeline. Madeline. The day was fine, the day was rare. Delicious scents were in the air. Did you hear my tummy rumble? J'ai faim. <laughs> Madeline, was that your tummy? No, no, I am not that hungry. Wait, hurry, little girl, before we get soaked to the skin. Oh, no! As they rushed from the gust and gale, Madeline saw a girl so frail, an urchin thinner than a rail. This hungry child was glad to find the food that others left behind. Come, Madeline, we must hurry home for lunch. We oui, miss Clement. Some of us are very hungry. The thundering storm turned the sky dark as night. And Miss Clavel turned on the light and said, Oh, something is not right. Dr. Cohen explained it was the flu, and their cook would soon be good as new. She can rest in bed, she can read a book, but absolutely <gasps> she must not cook. Attendez, little girls. Today we must leave Mrs. Murphy alone. But what will we eat? We have never cooked for ourselves before. Do not worry, Chloe. Then Miss Clavel looked up in terror, for she had made a terrible error. Zoot alors! I forgot that Lord Cuckoo Face is coming for lunch today. Hmm. Bonjour, Lord Cuckoo Face. Good day. I've been waiting so long. Are you sure it is not good night? <gasps> I trust I will not have to wait for my lunch. Ah oui, un moment, s'il vous plaît. <laughs> Miss Clavel, do you have my lunch or do you not? <gasps> we shall be serving lunch momentarily, Lord Cuckoo Face. We? Oui? You? Serving lunch? We, oui, us. My assistants and I are making lunch today. I did not know the little girls could cook. 
what a surprise. Indeed, a surprise for everyone. The girls broke out the bread and butter and put one piece atop the other until they heard a loud voice utter, Hola! Whenever it was time for lunch, Pepito's stomach had a hunch. He came around in time to munch. And what has Mrs. Murphy prepared today? Mrs. Murphy is sick, and we are cooking lunch for Lord Cuckoo Face. Plain bread and butter for the chairman of the board of the trustees? Perhaps we should add some other ingredients. Brie. Roquefort. Camembert. Jam. <laughs> Olives. <laughs> How do you get the olives to stick to the bread? Try this chocolate syrup. <laughs> By the time I get my lunch, it will be time for dinner. <laughs> and so, for the esteemed trustee, the children made a specialty. Feast of creativity. Merci, Genevieve. Whipped cream. And chili peppers. Just a pinch of salt and we will be done. Uh-oh. <laughs> At last, you must have been making beef wellington. No, monsieur. We have been making cheese sandwiches a la Cuckoo Face. Since they're named after you, Lord Cuckoo Face, you must try the first one. Mm, merci beaucoup. Uh, but uh, ladies first, of course. <laughs> But most of all, we love each other. Madeline was elected to take the first taste, which was not expected. Soon things went from bad to worse, because the trustees' reaction was adverse. <laughs> the little girls began to scream, Lord Cuckoo Face is turning green! <laughs> I thought you said these children knew how to cook! I am afraid they have never had any lessons. Never had lessons? Never had lessons? Then it is time to enroll them in Le Cordon Rouge, the greatest cooking school in the world. There are classes for children each Wednesday at 2. I will make all the arrangements for you. B but first, I must go home and lie down. Au revoir, la cuckoo face. And we shall have lunch again, after you have graduated. When Wednesday afternoon rolled round, the little girls started off to town. Wait, wait! Signorita Clavel, may I come too? Certainement, Pepito. So they set off to learn France's finest cuisine and prevent Lord Cuckoo's from turning so green. So this is the finest cooking school in all of France. Go away. Allez, allez. We have no leftovers today. Madeline recalled that day in the rain. These hungry children were the same. Madeline, come inside, s'il te plaît. Oui, Miss Clavel.
Welcome, boys and girls, to Le Cordon Rouge, the greatest cooking school in the world. Bonjour. I am Chef Lambé, the greatest chef in the world. Here you will learn how to prepare the most delicious French delicacies. Here is the pièce de résistance. Le petit diplôme for children who graduate from Le Cordon Rouge. French cooking is an art, and the raw chicken is like a blank canvas. The chef explained that le poulet must be dressed in the proper way. <laughs> Voilà! <coughs> Madeline was the first to get hers dressed, but Chef Flambe was not impressed. No, no, ma chérie. The chicken is not a doll. <laughs> the next week they learned a recipe for Bouillabaisse soup. Fresh from the sea. Oh! oh no! When the fish received emancipation, <laughs> it became a slippery situation. Little darlings, you must not let the fish make a stew out of you. <laughs> it seemed that every demonstration. Voila. resulted in complete frustration. There were problems making onion soup. <laughs> and their souffles somehow would always poop. Ah, Nicole, c'est magnifique! Their crepes Suzette were far aloft. Children, if you continue at this rate, <laughs> not one of you will graduate! <laughs> Mes amis, we must try our best to get those diplomas. We must not disappoint Lord Cuckoo Face. Then following Madeline's request, they all agreed to try their best. They listened so well, it was a surprise. Chef Flambe could scarcely believe his eyes. Formidable! In two straight lines, they baked their bread. Ah! Merveilleux! Hmm. Magnifique! Even Pepito was doing fine. And no one worked harder than Madeline. We mix, we stir, we fold, we blend, we even gratiné. We beat, we baste, we take a taste, and sometimes we sauté. We always serve our entrees with a salad nice and green. We are the latest experts in the finest French cuisine. Fry it, we'll try it. Stew it, we'll do it. Now we've got the hang of it. We 
leave the kitchen as it was all shiny, neat, and clean. We are the latest experts in the finest French cuisine. Fry it, we'll try it. Stew it, we'll do it. Now we've got the hang of it. There's really nothing to it. Fry it, we'll try it. Stew it, we'll do it. Now we've got the hang of it. Now we've got the hang of it. There's really nothing to it. Chef Flambe was deeply moved at how his pupils had improved. Today it is your final test. Each of you must do your best. They began to mix, to beat and to sauté in order to impress the great Flambe. Then delicious scents soon filled the air. And two children came to peek and stare. Hello? Who is there? Madeline placed her feast upon the sill until the hungry children ate their fill. Madeline, quick, it is time for us all to go to the great dining hall. If Chef Flambe was contented, a diploma was presented. Ah, très bien, très bien! <laughs> Everything seemed to be going fine until he came to the end of the line. Quel horror! There was no diploma for Madeline. Madeline, what happened to your chicken? Where is your chicken? Come, children, it is time to go. Then from the corner of her eye, Madeline saw someone wave goodbye. Très bien, Madeline, a deed well done. That night, after they broke their bread... We love our bread, we love our butter, but most of all, we love each other. And brushed their teeth. They hung the diplomas above each bed. Madeline, it is so sad there is no diploma for you. Then someone said... That is not quite true. who has mastered the art of kindness. Then Miss Clavel told of Madeline's deed, how she had helped others who were in need, and everyone agreed. Kindness is more important than cooking. Good night, little girls. I hope you sleep well. Bon nuit to you, dear Miss Clavel. here with the whole board of directors. According to our Miss Clavel, you have learned your lessons well. And Miss Clavel said, For your esteemed consideration, we have a cooking demonstration. It smells so tantalizing. 
I say, this is most surprising. Flambe, souffle. Mmm, crisp hot croissant. Brioche, beef Wellington. Ah, even poisson. Arrêtez-vous, Lord Cucoufé, s'il vous plaît. This feast is not for you. Miss Clavel explained that in cooking school, the girls had also learned the golden rule. We are taking all the food you see to children who need it more than we. And Lord Cuckoo Face said, You have learned to be kind and to open your hearts, as well as your mind. But we have not forgotten our honored guests. We have made something special for you. Ah, oui. Crepes Z, quiche Lorraine, pas de foie gras? Better! Fromage à la cuckoo face. But it looks like plain cheese sandwiches. They are plain cheese sandwiches just for you. Bon appétit, dear trussies. The little girl said au revoir and closed the door. And that's all there is. There isn't any more. Good job!